Hello there, my fishy friends. I'm down here at the Vetter cooling off. And I gotta say, I'm getting a little bit excited about opening day. Coming up on July 1st, we're gonna be able to get back in here, and chase salmon and chase trout. I don't know, I'm looking forward to it. I hope you are too. Looking forward to another great salmon fishing season overall. I don't know, I just, uh, I think as soon as salmon is over in, you know, at the end of November, I already start looking forward to the next season. And we're gonna kick it off in just a couple of days. Red Springs, Red Springs, what to say about Red Springs. I, I think my chances of getting a Red Spring at the beginning of July are pretty much non-existent. This run really has gotten a lot later than it used to be historically. So July 1st, there used to be a number of Red Springs in the Chilliwack and Vetter system, but that run has gotten, just like many other salmon runs, has gotten later and later every year. And so these days, you don't really start seeing good numbers of Red Springs show up until mid to end July. And even then, the Red Springs are probably the smallest run of fish that we get on the Chilliwack Red River. There are, on an average year, you get hundreds of Red Springs. So not thousands, hundreds. In a really good year, you might get a couple of thousand of them. The thing is that they are an introduced run, so their genetics are from the Quenelle River. So these are long-range Red Springs that are designed by nature to swim up the Fraser River Canyon. So. When they hit the vetter, it really doesn't take them long to thin up. Like, in a day, they can swim this whole river. So, they're, they're a pretty tough species to target. And uh, I've spent a lot of time chasing them. I've had a few on. I have never landed one. It's, uh, it's one of them that's eluded me, so it's a challenge. And uh, definitely this year I'm going to try again and maybe finally get one. Well, river report. You can see it behind me. I'm, I'm here cooling off from this heat wave. We've been coming down every day, jumping in and cooling off. The river's still really high. This heat wave really did a number on the snowpack, but the river's gonna drop. It's gonna drop really fast. I think even by this Thursday, it might come down a foot and really clear up. We'll see. We'll see, but I predict the river's gonna drop really fast. And I'm looking forward to some snorkeling as soon as it clears up. Right now, it's just way too dangerous. You can't see the logs coming, and, and it's, it's really easy to get trapped under stuff. So I'm gonna wait till it's safe, and then it's gonna be back to some good old snorkeling videos for you guys. Well, see you out there. Unfortunately, I'm working Canada today, but uh, I might pop out in the evening, and, and hopefully, you don't prove me wrong if you catch a red spring, leave me a comment. And uh, yeah, see you out there. Thanks for watching. See you next time.